Come on in. Thank you. How do you like my post-divorce digs? Came furnished. Do they give you a noose or you have to supply your own? <laughs> Come on, it's not so bad. I get home from work around six, microwave dinner, go down to the rec room, play a little ping pong with the other divorced guys, watch some TV, and before you know it, it's 6.30. Is that an electric oven? Yeah. Good. <laughs> so what's up? Why the cryptic text message? Well, I had some things I wanted to talk to you about, and I wanted to do it face to face. I'm sorry. About what? I don't know, it's just a reflex. <laughs> Take it easy. This isn't about you. It's about me. I need to apologize for the stuff I did to you. Really? Wow, my sphincter just relaxed. <laughs> so what do you have to apologize for? I'm the one that left you. Yes, and God is clearly punishing you for that. <laughs> but if our relationship is going to move forward, I need to take responsibility for the mess I made. Okay. I accept your apology. No, I need to tell you all the things I did and then ask for your forgiveness. How many things are we talking? About 118. But there are a couple things I did twice, so it's up to you if you want to count those separately. Okay, let her rip. January 7th, 1976, the night we met. I stole $100 out of your wallet. You said that was my buddy Wayne. I never talked to him again. If you're going to flip out over each one of these, it's going to take a lot longer than it needs to. <laughs> January 8th, 1976. I slept with Wayne. What? <laughs> In my defense, I was trying to console him because he was so upset about your friendship ending. <laughs> okay, home stretch. March 11th, 1978. Your grandmother got arrested at the airport carrying a bag of my weed. You made my Nana a mule? <laughs> I didn't plan it. I saw a drug-sniffing dog coming. I panicked and stuffed it in her wheelchair. Before you say anything, they let her go, and I told her if she kept it a secret, I'd give her a great-grandchild. Here's a big one. Your cousin David. You still in touch with him? Yeah, we're very close. Okay, well, I'm just gonna skip that. <laughs> and finally, about a year after you left me... Well, this is a tough one. Not proud of this. I set your vintage Corvette on fire. I never owned a Corvette. <laughs> really? Okay, I'm gonna have to track that guy down. <laughs> wow. I should have done this years ago. I feel great, like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Yeah, good for you. No, good for us. We have a clean slate, a fresh start. Nothing's stopping us. Sorry, I can't do this now. You need to take a pill? <laughs> how could you do all that stuff to me? Okay, clearly you don't understand how this works. See, this is the part where you forgive me. Yeah, well, I don't think I can. Hey, I forgave you for walking out on me. After hearing all this, walking out on you is the smartest thing I ever did. <laughs> okay. I think this party's over. <laughs> Just so you know, you have ruined this amends for me. 